hello everyone and welcome to this video in this video we'll be seeing about how we can make a multi-cloud kubernetes cluster so uh, basically uh, in this video i'll be showing you just on aws or uh, if time permits uh, i'll be doing it on gcp but the steps and the procedure are uh, exactly same uh, there would be only one change in configuring of uh, nodes worker nodes in gcp or in local node or the uh, local system uh, let's say it would be an vm in your system so let's start by uh, configuring the master node so i've already launched an instant uh, instance in aws cloud it's kubernetes master and uh, i have logged into it using uh, putty because i need to copy the commands from uh, my already taken nodes into this command and I'll show you how we can uh, configure it in a uh, very simple manner. So I'll be also launching one instance right now for the worker node. So I'll be using Amazon Linux 2 and uh, it would be on T2 micro. It is suggested that you you should use uh, at least two virtual CPU and four GB RAM for master node because sometimes it would fail. Sometimes it will fail because uh, of the memory it needs so uh, right now this uh, 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 what we say the master node uh, has only one vcpu and one uh, uh, gb ram but let's see if uh, it works or not in my last uh, two experiment it worked uh, so i am uh, doing that this time also and let's uh, configure it and in the storage give it uh, 30 gb because that's not an issue for 30 gb then uh, give it a name as uh, let's say it's cuber and it is work and all right for uh, for the time being i am choosing like i am allowing all the traffic to pass through my uh, master and slave node and i'll be using this key for logging in and then i'll launch the instance so for now uh, let me show you only the nodes which are running so uh, okay it's fine so let's say uh, this is our master node now how you can check this is my master node by seeing the private IP of it like I have already logged into it that's why uh, I'm directly showing you the party terminal so this is my private IP and you can see you can match it here now first first and foremost thing which we need in uh, kubernetes uh, would be docker right so let's start by installing docker now one uh, you know important thing here is in amazon linux we already have vm which is uh, configured for docker like it, it already has a docker package so it's uh, easy to install it using yum install docker but if you are going with uh, an uh, image on GCP or uh, let's say on your local system, then you need to configure yum for installing Docker. So uh, let's say uh, I'll be showing you in this video or maybe in the next video, which I would be posting that how we can do the same in GCP in in CentOS 8 image, right? So the Docker is uh, uh, installed now. We need to start the Docker services. The services are started now. Uh, if you if you Google search like in uh, installing uh, Kubernetes, uh, you know uh, cluster and how to make Kubernetes cluster using kubeadm because in this approach we'll be using kubeadm to install all the uh, needed uh, softwares. So it will give you one, you know, a repository configuration for installing the Kubernetes packages. So the, for doing it, this would be the file. Uh, let me just actually, this recording would disturb you. But if you can see, it is uh, it, this 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 script would, uh, you know, make a repository in this folder, which is the default folder for YAM repositories it's been made if you want to cross check we can easily do cat on it so we'll see what are what all are the configuration and if it is uh, configured in correct way or not so this is the uh, you know the repo name which we say where this is the base url from where we will download the software uh, enabled and gpg check is one that's why we need to provide these two fields 
if it would be zero we don't have to provide this two fields that's okay so this much having been said uh, now we will install the software which we need now if we if we understand the architecture of uh, kubernetes we will come to know that uh, kubelet this kubelet software would will be needing it on the uh, you know the uh, worker node and uh, kubeadm we need to set up the cluster and kubectl kubectl is the client of the kubernetes server so why we are installing kubelet here also because we will be making our uh, master node the client also so we'll be having master and client on the same system we can say so let's proceed and install the software in the meantime let's check if it is if our uh, worker node is up or not it is but uh, why the status okay it's it's up right so we'll copy the ip we'll open up the putty to connect to it uh, we'll be using the key which we attached it's uh, this and let me wait for it to come yeah we'll be by default logging into ec2 user once we are in we need to be root yeah so this would be our um, worker node so jump back to the master node uh, yeah so everything is installed fine now uh, there would there's one problem in the docker version and the kubernetes version compatibility actually what happens is uh, the c group of the docker we need to change it to um, system d and now why because this kubernetes version doesn't support the c group uh, the by default c group of uh, docker so for that we need to make change in in the daemon or the configuration file of uh, docker we can say so, and in this we need to have this line which uh, tells that we are uh, having the c group driver as system d and then press control d to come out of it Finally, we need to restart Docker because we have made changes into the uh, configuration file of Docker. Yes, there's no problem, and let's check if uh, Docker is uh, running fine. Yes, it is running fine. Now we'll uh, enable Kubelet. It is enabled, and uh, we will download all, all the necessary images which we need for configuring the cluster, which would be of HCD, you know. Uh, if you understand the Kubernetes cluster, we need HCD images, we need uh, con uh, um, controller images, we will be needing uh, um, scheduler Im uh, images. Now what we do is, we will install the images and uh, uh, our Kube AD ADM will form the container of that images itself. So you will be seeing that even we will be installing the API uh, image also, the, a the API of uh, uh, Kubernetes. So we can see that Kube API server uh, image has been installed, Kube controller um, is being installed. So these are all the images, right? Now once it would be installed, we will need some, you know, some more uh, networking uh, tools uh, for Kubernetes to peer through the network, like uh, to create a peering network. So we will be installing some package, like one package uh, for that also. Uh, once it finished, I will be installing it here. Yeah. Yes, so, oh, I forgot to, yeah, it's installed. Now what we'll do is, finally we will use the cube ADM to install, uh, like to install or let's say configure the uh, controller node, controller plane. So here we need to give the uh, public IP and port. Now public IP of our uh, instance is uh, this one and port would be 6443, right? And uh, I, uh, you know, I was uh, telling you about the vCPUs and, and the memory of it. So if 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 by chance there's not some space or not enough memory, it would give error here. Like after I'll be running this command, it would give me error. So let's hope for the best. Fingers crossed. 
uh yeah it worked fine uh, because sometimes what it happens is it would stuck here after this two warnings it would stuck so don't be uh, scared or you know uh, confused with that it is actually because there's not uh, enough memory for that so what you do is you just uh, terminate the instance go back to the aws instance and choose 2v cpus and 4gb ram instance then it will work fine okay so right now everything is working uh, fine with the control plane control plane would be configured now and after that we need to make our master node as our client so for that it would give you some commands to run you directly copy paste them and uh, your client would also be set up on the same master node but uh, let me tell you that when you create a uh, you know multi cluster or multi cloud cluster of uh, kubernetes uh, as i mentioned earlier we would be needing some peerings like uh, for allowing the you know nodes to co communicate easily we'll be having kubelet on the uh, worker node which needs which would be communicated by the uh, scheduler of the master node so for that also we need one uh, uh, we can say a cni so for that we'll be in installing flannel we can use weave or anything else which would provide uh, more facilities of route but uh, for for this application for this time being we'll be using flannel so let us wait for some time or else uh, let's start configuring our uh, um, worker node right so this is a worker node so first of all in worker node we need to uh, you know turn off the swap this is very important many a times people forget to do this and uh, yeah, they will face the issue while uh, joining the worker node to the master right so first of all swap uh, you know turn off the swap that's uh, big, um, version 1.8 and greater of kubernetes would be needing this otherwise it's fine because there is some support issue I, I i recently read the whole uh, you know github issue of that but uh, it it's fine like you just need to run this command and uh, as i uh, mentioned earlier this is amazon linux so we don't have to set up the em re repository for the docker so we can um, uh, directly uh, download or install uh, docker right we don't have to set up the repository but i will show you how to set up the repository as well uh, let me check the yes so we can see the your kubernetes control plane has successfully uh, initialized and it says that to start using your cluster you need to follow this command this is the commands which we will copy like blindly copy we can run this command uh, in the system itself yeah so now we are uh, also a client we can say so let's say cube ctl get ports so there are no ports obviously cube ctl get nodes oh wait we can say that our control plane is not ready right now obviously it's not ready it would be ready after uh, you know we install the flannel and uh, uh, join the working nodes then it would be in a ready state so let's uh, move to installing a flannel for that also uh, you can see the kubernetes documentation it has given there actually you know the kubernetes documentation is very well described it's very good to refer but it's not in one place like everything is in different different documentations and you need to switch between them and figure out what to do when this error comes so i have been spending few days and i have uh, you know taken the steps to do it uh, all right now uh, the configuration of master node is done we'll shift to uh, controller node in controller node we have installed docker now next thing would be uh, setting up the yum uh, configuration file for kubernetes software we'll then install the kubernetes software Uh, then we'll enable our uh, uh, kubelet we'll also uh, you know uh, change the c group here also as here as well we need to do it here as well you know in configuration of master node and worker node there are uh, uh, majorly two difference we need to turn off the swap and uh, uh, we need to we we didn't need to uh, you know run the uh, cube adm command instead of that we need to run the cube join so let me change the c group to system d control d to exit 
it's fine we'll restart docker and we'll check if it is working fine yes it okay yes it is working fine we'll install the ipc root tc and here uh, yeah and one more major change in this we, we will be uh, you know uh, setting the bridge uh, to one because it's necessary for uh, worker nodes because it would uh, kind of create a mess if we left it as it is yes so it is done properly now we just need to join uh, to the uh, master node uh, okay so before joining let me see if it is done yeah it is done properly and we need to finally uh, either you, you know this is the command which we need to uh, copy and run or else you can even uh, uh, run uh, another program which would give the same command to us like uh, it, it would generate a token obviously uh, uh, the token would be different now this won't work now this token will not work only this uh, will work so uh, before you know after running this command don't go for this previous one so it is copied go to the uh, worker node paste it here enter it will take some time okay so uh, okay fine 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 so here it says that uh, system enable docker service docker service is not enabled okay so You know, it's it's very good to uh, learn from the errors itself because the errors are very clear. Okay. Now, what it says, file content of the bridge. Uh, okay, that's not an issue. You know, sometimes this come, but let me check uh, by seeing the nodes of it. I think it will come up. The control plane is ready. Okay. Okay, so let me again check it. What it says? We actually changed it to one, right? Uh, I just now told you that it would create some mess here. Now I don't know why. Let me do it again. It is set to one. now let me create the join command and the token again and try it okay and yeah one more thing here it would be the public ip and the port number okay uh, sometimes uh, many people make mistake here also so it is public uh, ip and the port number I don't know why it is happening, but uh, sometimes this happened, but eventually it get connected. Uh, let me again check here. Okay. This is an error. That's why it's not happening. If it would be an... Uh, we have changed it, right? We have changed it here. Why it is turned that we have not changed it? Okay, let me even uh, what was the we can there's one command uh, through which we can check the you know if it is set to one or not it if it is successfully set to one or not uh, what was that command yeah system CTO, this is it is set to one now why it is not taking 
let me then rejoin yeah now it started right it uh, i don't know why it was happening but now it is done you can see that uh, certificate signing request was sent to api server and the uh, uh, the worker node was uh, successfully connected to the uh, master node now we can go here and check the nodes yeah so we can see one node came right this is the node it will in some time get ready uh finally uh, we we are seeing that how to make a uh, you know cluster uh, a kubernetes cluster but uh, let's take another one more you know uh, example and we will see how to do it with gcp cloud as well uh, and it is a good practice to make i ami of it but uh, right now you can't make it you have to make it before running the adm command and in uh, in the uh, worker node before the join command you can uh, turn off the instances and you can make the ami out of it so you don't have to do the configuration again and again now let's move to gcp and try it out i have already done i have posted a medium article for it also you can check it out but uh, for uh, uh, understanding purpose let's do it once again in this i have used a uh, gcp kts worker also so let's set it up uh in this you need to have uh, you know um, one uh, firewall firewall rule created uh, uh, this would allow all the this is allow all i have already created in my other project so in for creating just give the name come here come down click allow all and and this would be none it would be all instances in the network and uh, make it right now this is for the ease of uh, making the cluster very quickly or else you need to just allow 6443 and other ports uh, which would be uh, needed by the kubernetes to communicate now go to compute engine and vm instances uh, then there will be a create instance or create vm instance click on it uh, yeah so this create instance the steps will be same here only one difference would be the setting up of uh, the uh, yum or you know configuring it for uh, installing the docker now give this name as uh, kts node i already used uh, give the region as mumbai so there won't be a much latency um, change the image to centos Uh, CentOS and CentOS 8, and uh, done. Uh, allow this if in future you need to create something on uh, like web servers on it. Okay, it is being in the construction phase. It would come up in just no time because uh, it is very fast. GCP is very fast in spanning of the yeah. It came up right. and well connected through the web it gives support of copy paste so it's fine it is very good that they support this but it takes them time to come up let's wait for it uh but let me tell you there isn't any difference right there isn't any difference in the steps or any configuration it is just that we need to install docker uh in this centos which doesn't have repository for docker so if by chance i am showing you a method if you have any other another method to install docker then it is completely fine you can use it <coughs> yes so finally first step will uh, uh do is turning off the swap so it is very necessary or else uh, there would be some error at the end uh, while joining to the uh, master node so uh, turn off the swap now uh, we need to create uh, one repository so let's get to the directory where all the repositories are here there will be some by default let's add our own for uh, sorry not for kubernetes for docker and the extension should be repo or otherwise it won't take it and we will add this content to it now i will share this content in uh, in a file don't have to worry about it i have checked it multiple times and then only i am doing uh, let us check if it came 
and it is working fine yes it came so we need to install docker community edition and no best now why no best otherwise uh, they w uh, we will be using no best to tell them that uh, install the version which is very fairly com compatible with the uh, system which we are using so that's the reason we are using no best just a moment it will download it it was sorry i forget to mention yes so it would ask us to either tell yes or no so let's wait for it uh what happened oh sorry yes fine now let's quickly do all the steps which uh, we have previously done actually it is not a very good use case to do it manually but uh, for the first time we should do it manually and then you should use uh, some automaton scripts like uh, ansible or use terraform for this case because we are interacting with cloud but uh, ansible would be fine because sometimes we have uh, you know on premises instances which also we need to connect even terraform works for that but uh, it's upon your choice and the use case but if uh, if possible you should make an uh, ansible script uh, i will be making one ansible script and if it is possible i will also upload one video for it uh, let's hope for the best uh, why it is taking so much time yes it came up we'll start the docker services we'll do the kubernetes yum repository configuration we will install the softwares then we will enable the kubelet we will then edit the configuration file of docker for changing the c group and the same goes for the vm also if you have on premises a uh, vm the same the set the steps are all same like you don't have to worry about what would be the difference between um the on premises setup and the cloud it, it's completely same so just follow the steps which i i am doing right now and it would be done now we need to restart docker as well because we have made changes in the configuration file let us check if it is working fine it is working fine we'll install the ipc root tc and uh, then we will uh, you know the thing which uh, irritated us in the previous note that <laughs> adding of uh, went to the nf call ip tables it is done and finally take the cube adm command or the join command let us take this itself we don't have to create a new one it is fine to use this itself you can use this same yeah it is working fine you can see now this will also in some time join to the master node yes we, it is joined now let us check from the master node mm. Where was our master node? Yeah. Yes. So this node came up. Kate is node, which is from GCP. Okay, and it is sent to us Linux eight, and you can see it is in not. It would be ready as we can see. This got ready in some times. If previously it was not ready, now it is ready. This will also take some time, and it would work. So thank you for watching this video and. Uh, if you like it please share to anyone who is uh, you know in need and i'll surely make some video on ansible like automating this whole thing and uh, and yeah obviously this same setup goes with the vm also or any cloud you just need to install docker and all the steps are same uh, okay bye and take care be 